In this video, I wanted to show you a problem I was having with my Ginu. It has a 15 horsepower engine on it, and as you could see, even at slow speed, it likes to wheelie up, and it was very difficult to control, and um, we're going to try to fix it by putting one of those uh, Stingray spoilers on the uh, cavitation plate. All right, so here's the cavitation plate, and as you can see, there's also a zinc anode that's connected to it. First thing we're going to have to do is we're going to have to remove the anode because um, it's going to get in the way. We won't be able to put this new uh, plastic spoiler on. All right, so, um, and here's the product. This is the Stingray Classic Junior, and it comes in a nice plastic package. What you're going to get is the fin, and you're going to get some hardware. If you look closely, um, on the package, it says what this product's supposed to do, and we'll just see about that. It's supposed to get you on plane quicker. It's supposed to stop you from wheeling and porpoising, and save you some fuel, so on and so forth. Um, and let's open the package up and take out our new our new part. And um, I'm actually going to go through showing you how I put it on. And at the end of the video, you'll also see um, how this product actually helps or does not help uh, the way this boat moves through the water. Okay, so the first thing, of course, like I said, we're going to have to take this zinc anode off. And um, I'm going to speed through it. It's just a couple of screws on the bottom. And you're going to just take it off. And... After the job is done, you're going to actually have to find a place to, to replace it um, back on the engine. The, the new spoiler fits um, different size engines. So um, it's, it's good from uh, 0 to 40 horsepower, I believe. And what they want you to do is cut it down. So in order to do that, there's little lines on this thing. And they're grooves. And you can cut it down in quarter inch um, increments and what you cut off of one side of this thing you're gonna have to cut off the other side so here I am cutting a, a quarter inch at a time off and um, it's actually hard to hold I didn't have a vise but um, I took a quarter inch off of each side <clears throat> and then um, I um, put it back into position on the engine to see exactly how it would fit and I guess the idea is it's supposed to come to come together as much as possible, um, and at the same time, if you look at the very very back, see that part of the fin that comes slopes down. You want it to meet the the new fin, um, and just touch it. So there's kind of like a, a give and take. If you come, if you squeeze the the thing too close together by cutting too much off, um, it's going to move the position. You know. And, and it's not going to fit right. So you got to find the right thing. Here I am putting it back together to get it lined up properly. And once you have it lined up properly and you like the position and it's, it's forward as much as possible, you're just going to mark the holes. Make sure it's perfectly straight because once you drill those holes and put those screws in, um, you wouldn't want this thing on sideways. It might also change the way the boat moves through the water and maybe it'll change the steering on it. I don't know. But... So I marked the, uh, the four holes, and I'm um, using a, um, an awl to just um, punch some holes, little nicks in the aluminum so I can start the drill bit without it dancing all over the place. And it's actually very soft metal on these engines, so it's just one little tap, and you have a great place to put the drill bit. Um, so once you have the little um, nicks in the metal, you just take your drill, and you're going to make sure you have the right size drill bit. Just match it up with the screws. I think this is a quarter inch drill bit. And you're going to drill the four holes out. Once the four holes are drilled, there's four little rubber spacer washers that they want you to use. So you're going to place that on top of the cavitation plate and between. Um, it'll be between the cavitation plate and your, your new little spoiler there. And the rest is pretty easy. Just make sure you put the nuts in the hole. And they're nylon nuts, so they're going to lock on. Everything's stainless steel. Um, the screws come in from the bottom side up. And there's longer screws and shorter screws. You've got to make sure you put the, the correct ones um, in the right holes. Otherwise, they're going to stick out a little bit. 
I believe the longer ones go in front. Um, and then I took my uh, drill and I just tightened them up to get them uh, nice and snug. It's actually a very simple job. You just got to be, you know, this is an older engine, but I can understand somebody with a brand new engine being a little worried about starting to drill holes in their new, in their new cavitation plate. I've seen engines before that, you know, this part looked like uh, Swiss cheese. My brother, for example, has an engine that's uh, has got so many holes in it that a lot of it's broken away. I was putting on the uh, the zinc anode in a different position there. So here's the boat now. Look at that. That's in the lowest trim setting, and it just shoots right across the water like a um, like a needle. Um, and this is the second setting up in the bottom. You can see it just lifting a little bit. And also, we're going to do it on the third setting uh, of trim, and it lifts even more. Um, all in all, it's a whole lot better. You can steer the boat. You can see over the, the, the bow, and it's not dangerous, and it's controllable. So one thing I wanted to point out before I finish this video is that it did tend to slow the boat down by a couple miles an hour, um, but it's a sacrifice because at least now I can control the boat. You'll also have to mess around with your trim a little bit. And um, you'll notice that if you have it in the lowest settings with two people on the boat, you're going to have the front end so low that it's actually going to start splashing some water into the boat. So with two people on the boat, I highly recommend trimming it up one or two notches. And on a wavy day, like if you're going in water that's really rocky, you might want to raise the front end a little bit because... Um, you're going to get wet. I hope you enjoyed the video. Please subscribe. Please comment. Please give me a thumbs up. It helps me. And um, also, I'm going to put a little link in uh, the description. And it just so happens I sell these little um, Ginu Life decals on my eBay account. And you can take a look at it if you like. Um, for those who have Ginus, um, everybody knows that... Um, we kind of stick together. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video. As you can see, the product does help. And I think for about uh, 50 bucks, it's a worthwhile investment.